so in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at five different packages to help you pass data. Now, I will say that all of these things that all these packages do, you could have done in regex. But sometimes it's just more convenient to have a package helping you out because you don't always have to reinvent the wheel. Now, if you are striving for speed, it might be a little bit faster to write it yourself. However, if you are striving for speed, well, you're probably not going to use JavaScript. You're going to use something like C or C++. But anyways, so if we don't look at any of those things, speed and efficiency might come in other forms. So if you need to write a password and you need it to be done by Friday, well, then you really need as much help as possible. And this is where packages like this and other packages can go in and help you. And I will highly recommend you to build a tool belt of different libraries to help you out with different functions. So hopefully this video is going to be showing a few of them and I will also leave a few more in the description. So you can take a look at them and hopefully one or two will stand out and you will use in the future whenever you are going to be passing a format. And another thing I want to say is that I'm not going to be showing you all the functionality of all these packages. I'm just going to show you a few of the functionalities and then you can decide if you want to look more into it. And then you can figure out all of the other functions that they have. But anyways, let's get into the first package. So the first package is an email parser and it just has a basic function and it has a few other functions as well you can pass a list of emails and a few other things but you can see when you put in an email address you will get the domain the location the address and you can even get the name out of it if you define it like this here and if we rerun this code here you can see that we even extract out the name and then we extract a bunch of other things out which we could use to pass our data format. So a really cool package, but let's take a look at the next one. All right, so the next package is for passing Boolean values. So you can see that it converts pretty much any Boolean value you would expect, like yes, of, one, or zero, t, f, and why and it pretty much does as expected and it's a very very simple package and this package is such a simple package and I would highly recommend it and there isn't too much more to say about this package so let's just go to the next one now the next package here can pass either names or addresses so this is it working on a name and we'll show the address later but you can see that it extracts all of the proper information generally it's a really good library for passing names but let's take a look at the address side of it. And you can see that address wise, it also does a pretty good job. So if this number here changes, it would of course refresh up here and you always have the full address so you can always verify it. Now this package just have a few other functions, but I won't show those today. So let's just get to the next one. And the next package is a really simple one. It takes a byte number and it converts it into a nice string. And you can see the three examples down here. And if we modify this number here by adding a few extra zeros and run it, then you can see that it will update this. So pretty cool package, but let's take a look at the last one. Now the next package is used for extracting information out of your user agent string. And essentially you could go ahead and write a regex for this, but that would be very complicated and it's very easy to just use this package here. And if you take a look at the string, you can see the string right here. And you can do run functions like get OS. And then you can see down here, you get the OS. And we can also write get results, which will get all of the different information that it can drag out of this user agent string. So this has been every package I had to show today. And something I want you to take away from this video is go ahead and look out for good new packages, which can help you pass data or any other task. There's always a lot of small packages and generally pick the ones which has a lot of downloads. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.